Hey, Chris with RC Worst here. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be installing an internal splice box and we're going to be using the recommended installation equipment. Uh, and primarily what that consists of is this bit right here. Uh, it's because this has a hole saw and then also a cutter ring around it. And what that does is allows you to uh, eliminate this rib without having to use a grinder. So if you've seen our other video on how to install one of these, it's more the field method. This is more along the lines of how we do it in the shop. Um, or if you want to do it this way, you can purchase these tools. We do have those available on rcworks.com. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started. We've got uh, the coupling, we've got the pipe grommet, which seals the internal splice box uh, in place. We've got some ADH-100. This is an, um, a silicone-like adhesive that's going to help to seal that gasket or grommet. Um, so we'll go ahead and get this thing installed. Now normally these are installed, at least here where we're at in uh, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, we install these splice boxes about 12 inches down. Uh, but for the example's sake, I'm just going to install it a few ribs down just because it's a little bit easier to see what's going on. And we plan on using this as a display, so kind of two birds, one stone. So you want to figure out where you want to drill your hole and then get started. All right, so what we did is we made sure to take even these small, there's small ribs in between the bigger ribs, and we made sure to take those all the way down. Um, and I've got a little bit left that I can knock off here, and then we're just gonna clean this up, and then we'll be ready to put the splice box in. All right, so I'm just gonna use my knife to kind of clean this up. It's not entirely necessary to, to really pretty this up much, but I just kind of like a nice, a nice clean look on some of these things especially if we're delivering it to a customer or they're coming to pick it up you really want it to have kind of a nice clean look to it just so that it you know rings professional so to speak so um, you can tell that that's a nice clean hole obviously a lot nicer and cleaner than if you had had to do that with a grinder or some other tool so now we're basically ready to use our uh, ADH 100 and apply this to the gasket and you want to run a good healthy bead all the way around and we'll give it just a little more right there all right so we've got a nice thick bead of that run all the way around and these gaskets, there's no forward or backwards on these smaller ones. So you just start working it into place. You get it seated all the way in one spot, kind of hold it in place with one hand and just work it in with the other. And you'll have some of that ADH-100 kind of ooze out. And you just kind of work that around, trying to get an even coat all the way around there. And then that excess, you can just kind of clean off again for a nice professional look this is not really anything that has to do with the function of the grommet but uh, just kind of makes it look a little nicer all right so we've got that all cleaned up and ready to insert the splice box all right so before we push the splice box into place i just want to point out kind of a pro tip for you um, if you bevel this before you insert it through the, the grommet, it, it's going to go a lot easier for you. Um, so just kind of a, share that with you guys. And what you do want to install these properly is just a little bit of lubricant on the uh, grommet here. So I'm just going to use a little bit of lubricant here and just get that nice and lubed up. And then we take our splice box and and a lot of times you'll want to hold the gasket on the other side because it'll try to push through and then just kind of rotate it and work it in and then you're through. Now there are some some states um, Idaho is not specifically one of them but Washington is where they're gonna require you to put a bolt through the bottom here which would involve drilling a hole through here and then drilling a hole through the splice box and then running a bolt through here with a washer and a nut on the other side. If you find yourself in the situation where you have to do that, I recommend you drill the hole with the splice box installed 
so that everything stays nice and lined up. And then I also recommend that you use either ADH100 or um, the MA320, which is the methacrylic adhesive, to seal that um, on the thread side where the nut and the washer go on. But in Idaho, what we use is just a coupling. Um, so we just put a one inch coupling on here. And then that, once that's glued in place, that's gonna prevent that splice box from being able to pull out. And then you have the advantage of being able to hook up one inch conduit or three quarter inch conduit, depending on which one you need, because the splice box is three quarter inch conduit, uh, at least this particular splice box. All right, so that was our quick and easy uh, shop installation of an internal splice box. Hope you got something out of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content, and we'll see you next time.